an interior area was skipped during part 1 in the Royal Woods, the area before Arthur is. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will find out in a couple of minutes time. And yeah, that's why I um, kindled up my fire and walked straight away. So here I'm gonna go back to uh, that locked door and open for the crest key and see what's behind it. I said earlier it's whole quite well, just spoiler, I apologize, but you guys don't know what he looks like and I hope it surprises you. If you do know what he looks like, well done, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna open the door now, use crest key and I'm gonna go up the ladder. Okay, so yeah, so there you see him, and that's Hokaigo, one of Gwyn's four knights, the leader of the great archers, Hokaigo. He's very friendly and very nice. He's also a merchant, as you can see here. I just bought some stuff of him, and I'm gonna buy some arrows. I can't buy all of them because I just died twice and lost my seven million souls. Oh my god, so heartbreaking. Okay, so once you're done with Hopa Go, can now I will go to um, the next the area where I wanted to revisit from part one, which you will see in a couple of minutes time. I really hope you enjoyed this video so far, because Ulysses Township has ended, and for the rest of this video you will see the second part of of Royal Wood and also. A very fun boss fight and a cutscene. Two boss fights, in fact, and this is one of them. Is that the soul of the man? He was a dear friend. Would you be willing to? This is the Lord Blade Siren, and I would highly suggest to kill her, because you'll get six items, which are very nice. So now I'm gonna stop talking, and I'll let you guys enjoy watching the Lord Blade Siren boss fight. Alright, so I'm back, and I apologize for being late, I was playing some Dark Souls <laughs> while letting guys watch the Lord Blade Serum boss fight. So I went back to the merchant, and I'm, I will kill him now, because I hate this guy so much, and he deserves to die. So enjoy me watching him kill him. That made no sense whatsoever. Alright, so after you kill Lord of Siren, you'll get her gear and her two weapons. And after you kill Chester, which is that merchant, you will get his gear. Now, what I'm going to is this area, where it's in part 1 that I will visit later, and now is later. And this area, you will see a wondrous thing. I won't say what it is, because you will find out in a few minutes or so. So there's, a, there's some dogs here, like the ones in the lower on Dudberg. You should be used to them by now, and they will be a piece of cake. There are three of them, 
So take care and enjoy killing them, which is... I don't really know why you enjoy killing them. Because they're pretty bored. So, alright. So now you want to kill the final dog. And after killing him, you will see this area. So just cross through and you will you will be on top of a giant waterfall. Yes, say waterfall. Oh my god. Did you see that? That was the dragon that was that came earlier during part one. Again, if you don't if you don't know what part one is, I will put a link in the description and also a link of the four kings boss battle which I had my first commentary video on. So after you go down the ladder there are three corpses. Take all three of them. They're all souls which can be nice and they, you can see that they're all dead bodies. And oh yes, the dragon comes and burns you to ashes. Woohee! So yeah. A dragon, blah blah blah, sky, blah blah blah, naked eye. Very, very nice poetry from software, very nice poetry. So, yeah, just run away for your life. I think that waterfall can protect you. So, run away, 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 run away. And, oh, there's a chest here. There's a chest here, I just saw the chest. Oh, no, 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 I died. Ugh, there's a chest right there. Oh, never mind, never mind. So now I will not go back to the dragon because you literally cannot kill him. You can't. He just flies over you and burns you to ashes. I'm just gonna go back to go and I'm gonna murder him. And I hope you <laughs> enjoy me murdering one of the best, nicest NPCs in the game. Because I'm a criminal and they cannot. So yeah, I I'm gonna buy some Go Great Arrows as well, because I want those. Because I'm a hunter. In this little township, I will um, take the bonfire, so if I die, I respawn there. And now I'm gonna go to Hawkeye Go. So yeah. So that's the area where Go is, he is one of the four knights of Gwyn, and the other three being the Lord Blade, which you saw the boss fight earlier, and also the other two are Ornestine, from the boss battle of Ornestine Smo and Artorius. So now I'm going to use all my souls, because I want to buy as much arrows as I can, and I use all of them here, I just kept using them, and I have 190,000, which is pretty decent. What? Is the dragon? Uh, yes, sure, friend. The dragon is annoying me. Help me. Now, I will shut up now and I will let you guys see what's about to happen. I literally didn't know that this will happen. And it was all by luck. It was my first time playing this playthrough. And I was pretty surprised. So, yeah, enjoy. Yeah, and I so hope you enjoyed that cutscene, because I did, it was awesome seeing Go do that, but unfortunately, I will kill him now, right after I buy all his arrows. 
I can't buy all his hours, but oh well, I'll just buy a couple of them. So here goes nothing. Let's try to kill Go. So this is the boss battle, the second one. So enjoy it, I'm going to be quiet now. Have fun watching me kill boss battle. Alright, alright, so Hawkeye goes down, and as you can see, he drops his armor and his bow. As I am a hunter, I will be wearing his armor for the rest of the game, and as well as his bow. This is a. This is how his gear looks like. It looks kind of fat, but well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below talking about how your first playthrough of the DLC was. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you later. Bye!